Hello, and welcome to session two of Newsletters with Ghost. Um, I'm Taylor. This is Pilot. Hey, Pilot. Hi. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I am. It's uh, as we're recording this. It's a uh, uh, Friday afternoon. It's I'm gesturing my to my window because it's Sunday, but it I don't know if it's sunny by you. It could be different there. <laughs> no, it's not sunny here. That's that's it's sad. It's been I'm raining sorry. for four days. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's sunny here. Um, <laughs> and uh, and but we're here to talk about um, ghosts some more today. So last session um, we talked about sort of. The, we basically made the case, like why use something like Ghost for newsletters? Why should you take ownership, take control of that platform? Why we like it at Reclaim specifically, because mm -hmm. it's not the only self-hostable tool you could use for newsletters. Obviously, WordPress would be the other one. WordPress plus some plugins, basically. Um, and so we talked about why we really like Ghost and think it's a, an, an elegant and honestly very inexpensive solution. Um, I don't know that we really got into the, the cost stuff, but a lot of the newsletter plugins that you would need for WordPress have limits. They're subscriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are subscription fees of some kind. Not all of them, um, but, but many of them are like that. Um, Ghost, if you self-host it, you're really only paying for two things. You're paying for the server space, right? The hosting cost. And um, on Reclaim Cloud, that's basically between 10 and $15. It's not very uh, much money per month. That's what we're seeing uh, in terms yeah. of usage. We're not gonna go really far into everything you can do in Reclaim Cloud today, but we will install it. And as part of that, I'll kind of point out like, oh, and this is where you could look at that cost and, and have a good idea of that. Yeah. Um, there won't be any cost data because we're gonna install it on stream. That is true, right um, but I'll show where you can you can yes. look at that information, basically. Um, and then uh, the other thing um, that has a cost associated here is for the use of Mailgun. So Mailgun is a separate service that Ghost uses to send its emails. So this is really important if you've ever done anything with email delivery <laughs> in the self-hostable world. It's kind of a nightmare, honestly. It's it's yeah. not fun. Um, and that's honestly for some very good reasons. So basically, um, f if you wanna spin up a server and like have install some program on there that sends out email, by default, a lot of that stuff's gonna go to spam. Or in some cases, if you don't do the right DNS work, it just, um, it's not even gonna get delivered. Yeah. The, these are kind of more recent changes that have been happening with Google and Yahoo emails, but they they have some restrictions on like, look, if you don't have this, these types of DNS records set up for your domain, we're just going to throw the email out. We're not even going to put it in spam. We're just going to not deliver it. Yeah. Um, and Mailgun basically takes care of all that for you. And while you can, you know, send the email um, for like password resets on WordPress sites and Omeka sites, if you're hosting them with us on Reclaim Hosting, um, the minute you send a large amount of email, those services ramp up the rules even more. They get, um, yeah, they don't like it. So for the purposes of a newsletter, some type of external email service is a requirement. Um, it's it's not really feasible to use um, your own server or really even one of ours for large amounts of email to go out. You're going to get spam. You're going to be blocked by spam filters very quickly. Yeah. Mailgun right. gets around that basically. Yeah. And, and in addition to that, shared hosting servers really aren't, because they're shared, they're really not built to send out large amounts of email from like one particular account. Yeah. In fact, we don't even let you because we don't want our, we don't want our servers to get blocked. We have rate limits on how many emails you can send out in an hour so that it doesn't affect everybody who's using that particular server. And this also applies to domain of one's own as well. So, yeah. um, yeah, so basically you need to use an external service for this type of stuff. Um, and Mailgun is a really good one. We'll, we will get in, we're gonna um, configure a domain in Mailgun from scratch today. Um, but Mailgun has, they have some like enterprise prices listed on their website, but basically you'll just need to start an account for free. Um, and you will use their pay as you go plan. And the way it works is they charge you like a very tiny amount per email. Um, I, I don't actually remember what it is off the top of my head, but 
um, it's it's minuscule. <laughs> um, and then they don't send invoices. They don't charge you unless you use more than like one dollar a month. Um, and so that kind of equates to about about six hundred to a thousand emails a month. I've actually read different what? differing things. Yeah, to, per month. Um, so so for most people, you're not going to hit this limit at all. Um, if you have a, a newsletter that grows, your costs are probably going to be one to two to three dollars a month. We're we're not talking very much money here. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and I guess that also goes to frequency. Like, how often do you send out your newsletter? True. Yep, that's very true. You know, like we we definitely hit those um, here at Reclaim. Like we we have enough people, and we use multiple newsletters and stuff like that. But we're a business, so for the charge for for reliable email delivery for like what is essentially a couple dollars a month, it's kind of a no brainer. Um, yeah. I think we also didn't hit that threshold for the first couple months of the roundup, at least. Well, um, or... yeah, probably not the roundup itself, although we, we use Mailgun for a lot of things around yeah, here. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, we not use it for almost all of the email that you receive from us. So um, there's plenty of things that we use Mailgun mm -hmm. for. But but my point is, Mailgun is, is a hard problem to, sorry, email is a hard problem to solve. And Mailgun is a really good service to make that easier. Yeah. Um, so uh, we will set that up today too. So um, I'm gonna we're gonna kick it off because we actually have kind of a lot to do. We wanted to cram all of the like weird technical stuff into one episode so that people could watch this and get a good sense of it, basically start to finish of what you'd have to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna do that right now. So um, I'm logged into Reclaim Cloud, and so this is this is um, the really step one is we need to install Ghost. Um, so you'll make a Reclaim Cloud account. If you didn't know, the address is reclaim.cloud. Go set up a banner for you real quick, one sec. Yeah, and you're just going to hit log in. Um, so I've already logged in, of course. Um, and once I've got an account, I'm going to go to the marketplace. And um, I'm going to search for ghost. And it'll come up here. Um, and so uh, a couple things here. Um, we're going to install Ghost, you know, um, via the marketplace, which is our basically it's our um, automated installers for lots of apps. Um, when you make a Reclaim Cloud account, if you don't have one already, um, you do get a two week trial. So you can just try this. You don't even have to add a payment method if you're a EDU um, email. If if you don't have a EDU email message our support or um, um, and, and we can we can get your account in our system. We don't take signups from like Gmail addresses, um, but you Two can week trial for spam purposes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. You, all you have to do, though, is put it in an email to us at our support and we'll show you how you can sign up. We do take signups from anybody, but but the public form only allows EDU emails. So um, but uh, yeah, so from here, um, and I should say, and so you won't have to add a payment method during that time. You can just try things out and see if it works for you. Um, so we're going to go to the marketplace, Ghost, um, and I'm going to hit install. And I can give my environment a name here. This is going to define the sort of temporary URL that we'll use Ghost at before we map a real domain name to it later. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just call this my cool newsletter as is sort of my convention. Um, you can give it a display name. I'll just leave it at ghost, that's fine. Yeah. This display name doesn't really matter. It's really just for your purposes, um, what you want it to look like in the dashboard. Um, and then finally, I'll pick a region. I could pick a lot of regions. I'll go with Canada because why not? So um, hit install. And this will take a few minutes. Um, so I am going to actually let this hang out right here. And while this is installing, we'll talk about sort of everything you'll need to make what we're doing today happen. So you really only need three things. You need a domain name that you're not already using for some other website, of course. Um, and this also could be a subdomain, by the way. This doesn't have to be a top-level domain. Um, we are going to show a top-level domain today. Um, but uh, it could also be a subdomain. And you, I'll talk about where the things would differ, but the principles sound. 
Yeah, I, and now that I think about it, there there really isn't anything that would differ. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm doing it this way because I've already set up Mailgun on my top level domain in my C, cPanel account. So I wanted to show this today. So I registered a fresh one. Yeah, um, start to finish. But yeah, you'll need a domain name. You can register one with us. If you have a shared hosting account, you can literally go into your cPanel and hit register a new domain. I'll show you that in a sec. But if you already have one registered somewhere else or you prefer to register your domain with a different registrar, that's fine. It, you don't need to use our domain registration for that. I'm, of course, going to show ours today because that's what I have access to. Um, you will need a Reclaim account, Cloud account, which is what I already said, of course. Um, and then finally, you will need to make a Mailgun account, which, again, Mailgun accounts are... Um, free and easy to make. So literally just go to mailgun.com and hit get started for free. So um, you, I do, I do believe you need to put a payment method on your mailgun account. I don't think they let you sign up without one, but like I said, unless you're sending a lot of email, it's going to cost you literally nothing. So um, yeah, so those are the three things you'll need today. And we're going to walk you through how we set all of this up. So Let's go check back on Reclaim Cloud. It looks like it's almost done. It's on its deploying. Yeah, this step takes just a few minutes. Um, but there we go. Oh. <laughs> um, so uh, every it says, single time you're like, oh, it's never, it's not gonna be done for a while. Immediately. Yeah, your Ghost application has been successfully deployed. So this is uh, Reclaim Cloud letting you know. It's saying, hey, here's the URL of your Ghost site. I, you can see I clicked on it, and it's already. It's not quite ready for me here, but if I refresh, there it is. Yeah, this is what go. it looks like. Um, and if I go back here, it's, it says, hey, if you want to change the domain name, you'll need to point an A record at this IP address and then use the domain configuration add-on. We're going to do that in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I can set up Ghost by visiting this URL. Let's actually do that to make my account because I don't have a way to log in yet. So. I'll give it a site title. I'm going to call it my cool newsletter. This is a very important step if you are setting up Ghost. Do this immediately. Yeah, you want to do this because if you're not the first person to happen to visit this URL, someone else could set it up. Now, is that likely? Probably not because um, no one knows about it. But just a good thing to keep in mind that you do have to set a password here. So yeah. Um, I'm going to use my reclaim email address and I'm going to set a password here. I don't think, yeah, it's not going to show it on screen. Cool. Oh, I need to set a longer password. Great. So I am now logged in. Now we're, we'll return to ghost later, but I just wanted to make sure that I set a password. Um, okay. So the next things we got to do here is we need to set up that domain name, right? We don't, mm -hmm. we probably don't want our domain, our, sorry, our newsletter at, you know, reclaim.cloud. You want to really, for all of the reasons we were talking about last time, you also want to own the domain name that's attached to this thing in terms yeah. of um, ownership here. That's going to be important. So I'm going to go to my cPanel account to do this. Um, I have already registered a domain name, but um, in, I'm, in the case that you haven't, you can just go to domains register top level domain and follow the instructions here. So um, you can um, point to domain you've registered elsewhere if you want, but otherwise you can click this button and it will take you out to our website where you can uh, pick out your domain name and, and all that stuff. Um, and then you'll need to add it to cPanel. So basically um, I'll click here to go to the domain section of cPanel and I would hit create a new domain. And I would type in whatever that domain name is here. I'd probably want to oh, uncheck share document root. Yeah, it's a great domain. And then submit. And what that's going to do, if you register a domain with us, that's going to tell our system, oh, let's attach that domain name to this cPanel account, which lets us do DNS stuff with it, basically. Again, I've already done that. Um, so um, I'm actually not going to hit submit here. And if I go to my DNS zone editor, I you can see I've got a, a handful of domains, too many <laughs> domains in here. Not enough. Um, and mycoolnewsletter.com, that's the domain I registered for this today. And if I go to manage, there's a ton of um, records in here already, and that's because I added this to cPanel. 
And what yep. I'm going to want to do is change the A record because um, it's already set up to go to my reclaim hosting C panel. I want to change it because I want to have it go to, to ghost instead. Um, so I'm going to hit edit here. Basically and saying, look here for information about this domain. And then when you go look here, it says actually go to this specific other place. Yeah. And it says, if you want to change the domain name, point an A record at that IP. So I'm going to copy that. Mm -hmm. By the way, you'll get a copy of this emailed to you too. So if you dismiss this, it's not gone forever. Um, and I'm going to go here, paste in that IP it gave me and hit save. And theoretically, you could do zone records uh, like mail and DKIM and SPF and all those types of things in here. But Mailgun's going to let you not do that instead. Mailgun's yeah, yeah. Mailgun's going to tell me what we need to do here, basically. Mailgun's really yeah. great about walking us through this process, just like this is trying to do the same. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I'll mention here is we have a guide here um, covering a lot of the things we're going to talk about today. So um, if you click on this, um, it'll take you out. Now I... I um, now I have this open twice, of course. Um, all right. Um, and it'll talk about how to install Ghost, how to set up your account in Ghost, um, how to do some things like update Ghost later and set up mail and uh, change a domain name, which we're going to do in just a second. All kinds of things are available here, which is going to be handy for, for you. So, um, OK, so I um, can close this now. And now that I've mapped that domain name in DNS, and let me double check. Did I hit submit? Yes, I did. Yep, yep that's the new IP. Good. Um, I'm going to copy this domain name again. Um, now I just need to tell Ghost what domain name it's going to be uh, expecting, basically. Yep. So I'm going to hit this add-on button here um, under the environment for my Ghost. I'll make this a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm going to hit domain configuration and change. And then it says, hey, please specify the new domain name. Should already have an A record pointed there, which is what we just did. Whoops, I put the wrong thing in there. So that's mycoolnewsletter.com. I'm I gotta say, I'm shocked that mycoolnewsletter.com was not already registered. I know. I am shocked. I'm keeping this. <laughs> I don't have newsletter content, but I think I need to come up with something. So <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I, what, this is, what is the world coming to that such. And clearly, dot com of all things. Like, yeah. Like, 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 like my cool newsletter dot ninja. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but that, <laughs> every once um, in a while I go through, I, I, I look up the list of, uh, domain extensions and it always makes me laugh. You know, you can get dot yacht. Uh, I did not know that, but it makes sense. I um I, I don't know if I have it right now, but I for, at one point I had Jaden.coffee. And I was like, I guess I need to start roasting coffee beans now. Like <laughs> um and I never did. And I think I let it lapse. But yeah, there's so many amazing uh top level domain names. Mm -hmm. Um all right, so I've done the domain configuration. Now, like I said, this is gonna tell Ghost, hey, you are this new domain name now. It's yep. also going to issue a Let's Encrypt cert. So I am going to go to the new URL, mycoolnewsletter.com, and that there we go. That is fast. It put the cert on real quick. It does it immediately. When you okay. tell it to apply, it's going to instantly restart Ghost and issue a cert. So, awesome. um, yeah, and by immediately, I mean it takes like 30 seconds, but we were talking, so <laughs> it finished. Um, mm -hmm. And now I'll, I'll let's log back into Ghost, just make sure that's working still. So, um, and there we go. So I'm in Ghost. Um, so from here, so we've mapped a domain, we've installed Ghost, we've mapped the domain name. Now comes the um, Mailgun stuff. So um, I've already got Mailgun open and I'm signed in over here in this tab. Um, and I am already using Mail, well, I don't actually use Mailgun much. In fact, you can see that I've sent zero email in the last month uh, via Mailgun, or yeah, in the last month. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have it to kind of mess around with it, set up on a domain already. So I'm gonna need to set up another domain in Mailgun. But the instructions are going to be the same even if this is your first one. So I'm going to go to sending and then hit add new domain. 
And then I'm going to put my domain name in there, which is, of course, mycoolnewsletter.com. And it's going to ask what region. So if you want your email to be sent from the EU, you can select that. Otherwise, it's US. Those are really the only two regions they have. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to pick one. Um, and then you just you can leave the IP assignment. There's only one option anyway. Yes. <laughs> so, um, And then uh, we'll hit Add Domain. OK, and so it's, it's going to say, hey, you need to verify your DNM, your domain. So go to your DNS provider to, um, that you use to manage mycoolnewsletter.com and add the following DNS records. So we're going to need to uh, put in an SPF record. In fact, there probably is one already, but we're going to have to modify it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to need to put in a DKIM record and MX records and a CNAME record. So all of this we're going to have to put in. Um, so I am going to um, uh, go back to my yep, uh, DNA, uh, my C panel here. Mm -hmm. And actually, I should copy this. So um, it says, hey, you need an SPF record for um, mycoolnewsletter.com. I'm going to copy this value here. And then um, I'm actually just going to find one in the list that's already here and edit it. And that you can see here is an SPF record. Um, and so I'm going to actually edit this, paste it in. And we're going to do DKIM next. And as you can see here, it actually. There's a DKIM already as well. Yeah. Um, so I'll do the same thing. Um, so it says, hey, you need to do a DKIM record. Um, I am going to hit copy there. Um, Oh, and actually I'm realizing, I think it's a little bit different. So it's smtp.domainkey. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's default quite domain the key. same. So, all right, so I'm actually gonna leave the the one that's there alone. Um, so let me let me do this. So um, the, the annoying thing about DKIM and, and all this stuff is it says, hey, make this record, but it actually doesn't really give you a lot of instructions on what these are. These are all text records. There are many different types of DNS records. Um, the main ones you see are A, which is for IP addresses, MX, which is for uh, receiving email. We're talking about sending email right now. Um, CNAME, which is, you can kind of think of it like redirects from one domain to another, sort of, um, and text records, which are used for all kinds of things. So um, I'm going to make a new text record for my DKIM. And I'm going to paste in the um, the the host name that it gave me here, and I'm going to now copy this, enter this value part, and put that in on the record side. And there you go. Okay, so that one's in now too. Um, and then I'm going to have to put in um, MX records. So um, these. So these are these probably exist as well. So I could go in here. MX yeah. definitely. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in and change this one. I think you can keep priority, though. Uh, oh yeah, it actually says the priority should be ten. I I, I actually am not hundred percent sure that that matters, but I'm gonna I'm gonna follow their the advice. Sake of, yeah. They're the they're the experts. Yes, certainly. Um, so that's one MX record, but I need to make two. So. I am also going to go in and copy this one. And I'm going to go to the top again and make the MX record like this. And this one also, it said to put in 10 and the domain name on the other side. Yeah. And I, I, I think that changing the priority on the, so for modifying the one that already exists, I think changing the priority matters just so that they're not like competing with each other. So that they're same priority. I think in this case, because they're given the same priority, they're actually are competing. It's sort of like, oh, you can just try whichever one, basically. And okay. Mailgun wants you to do that for the purposes of like load balancing on their servers. Basically. Okay. I I don't know that for sure, by the way. But that's my understanding is if you have DNS records with the same priority, your it depends on the system. And by the system, we're talking like your operating system and all these things, but they will basically choose at random. They'll be like, cool, A or B. But of course, nothing is random in computing. So anyway, um, so 
anyway i just i, I just don't understand email but yeah it's all right <laughs> uh me neither <laughs> all right and then the final one is um you uh there is a tracking component in Mailgun where it can keep track of who's opened emails and who's hit un unsubscribe links and things like that. And you don't actually have to set this up. We will for the purposes of this. Um, but um, it says, hey, why don't you set up a new sub host name called email.mycoolnewsletter.com and uh, put a C name to mailgun.org. So we'll do that. Um, so I'm going to do a C name. I'm going to paste in the host name. I'm going to go back here, grab the value. This is a lot That's... easier, by the way, if you actually open these things side by side. But for the mm -hmm. purposes of recording, I, I didn't want to do it that way. Yeah. Um, but I would recommend just open these things next to each other. OK. Um, so now this is, uh, whoops. Um, so I'm going to be completely transparent and honest with everyone here. We may have to do some editing magic because sometimes DNS records take time to propagate. So I'm going to hit submit on this. Um, but it's very possible that um, we'll see. We'll, we'll have see. to wait. Yeah. So it better not be twenty four to forty eight hours because, the, as you said, we are recording this on a Friday. <laughs> so, well, we can always come back and look at it later too. That's true. Um, so it looks like these are all verified. This one says ready to activate. Um, I'm not actually a hundred percent sure. This. Um, okay. So. Okay. So I can activate this one by hitting. So yeah. This feels exactly like, you know, 15 minutes ago, we were like, oh, wait, no. There we That's go. weird. Refresh. Refresh. Like 15 minutes ago, we were like, oh, you know, Ghost isn't going to be ready yet. And then it immediately became ready. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you know, uh, the, the DNS can take a little while. But... Okay. So I'm not really sure what was up with um, with Mailgun on there uh, with that refresh error, but I'm going to go back to domain settings and then DNS records. And, and yep. we are all set now. So Great we've got the board. SPF. no editing needed. Yes, so we've got SPF, DKIM, MX, and CNAME all set up here. Um, now, we are going to need two more things. <laughs> um, so, and I, I, I'm going to say, if you're watching this, I know. <laughs> like, the, the mail setup is kind of a pain here, but this, the nice thing about this is this is something that you're really going to have to do once, yeah, and then it's, all... it's done. And Mailgun does walk you through all of it, so... Yeah. And it's it's also we've been doing this for probably twenty minutes of this so far. Yeah, I guess mailed, it's not that maybe. long, <laughs> but uh, infinitely better than just being in a in a longer spiral of emails not working. Why isn't it working? How do I make it work? Which is what happens later if you yeah. skip all these steps. Yep. Um, all right. So. Finally, um, we're going to also need to go to um, SMTP credentials. And um, so there there are um, SMTP credentials here already. Um, and we can either reset these. I'm actually going to make new ones um, for the purposes of using Ghost in particular. So I'm going to hit Add New. And it's going to say, cool, what do you want the login slash email address to be? And how do you want to create the password? Um, and so I'm going to call this one, I don't know, it could be whatever you want here. It could be newsletter, it could be ghost. I'm going to put ghost in for the login. Um, and then I'll let it do the creation method automatically. It's just going to generate a password for me. So it says, hey, a new password has been created for ghost at mycoolnewsletter.com. Click copy. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to go over to my notes over here. And we're going to copy this long, long um uh, password it generated. Don't worry, I will. Sorry, I'm get rid of too this many layer. tabs open. Um, don't worry, I will um, get rid of this um, by the time you're watching this. Mm -hmm. and I'm also going to grab the login. Um, and the last things we'll need here is it's we're going to need this SMTP address and then the port 25, things like that. Um, so, yeah, I might as well. I guess 25 great um so now we need to tell um oh i'm missing one more step okay that's smtp that's the credentials that ghost is going to use to send things like password resets and those types of emails finally we have to make an api key in mailgun and this is what ghost is going to use to send your actual newsletters out um there is a entire um 
blog post they have, which of course I literally just closed for some reason. Um, there we go. About the difference between these things, I will link to this um, in in Discord. But if you're curious about like, why do I have to set up? Well, first of all, like, why do I have to use Mailgun? And Ghost explains why that. Basically, that's what they support for newsletter stuff. Um, and they actually go into technical details of like, oh, well, do I have to use Mailgun for things that aren't newsletters, like password resets? And the answer to that is no. You can use any SMTP service. Um, well, I, in my opinion, in our opinion at Reclaim is if you're going to set up a newsletter and therefore need to use Mailgun, you might as well use the same email service for your yeah. password reset type emails as well. That's called transactional email is those one to one, very low volume um, type emails and bulk emails are I'm sending out my newsletter to everybody kind of stuff. Um, Okay, so finally, let's create that API key that we're going to need. And um, so I went to sending API keys. Again, this is under sending domain settings. And I um, let's call this mycoolnewsletter.com. Give it that description. It's going to say, great, here's your API key. It's, it's only going to display it once, so you may need to make sure to copy this. Um, I'm also going to grab this. And and label that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. It, oh, it's not the same. I was gonna it's say it's the same. same. It just it it's just similar. Is the same format. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same structure. Yeah. All right. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Why would it be the same? All right. So I can hit done here. Um, and by the way, if you ever do, if you forget to copy it or lose it for some reason, you can always just delete this and create a new one, or you can create as many as you want, I believe. Um, so mm -hmm. you can use them for all kinds of things here. All right. So now we need to go through and set up the actual, um, ghost part. So we are, we are done <laughs> setting up the mail gun account kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to go back to my reclaim cloud dashboard. And I'm going to use the add-ons, and I already have it open, but for the purposes of watching this, I'm going to do this again. The add-ons here are little like scripts and helpers that we make, um, and you can find them by clicking on this little icon here under your environment. You made a bunch of them. Uh, I mean, I, to be clear, we didn't make all of them. Some of them are made by Virtuoso, the company that makes this platform that is Reclaim Cloud. But I've made a few of them, all of these ghost ones I've made. So, yes. Um, you also made the ghost installer. Yes, yep. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it because we do really want the ghost installer itself is, I think, pretty simple to use. It's, it's literally a single click. Um, so, um, and before that it was not, <laughs> it used to be kind of hard to get ghost working on our platforms before this. So, um, I will mention here too, we're not going to use it today, but you can also update Ghost. So if you're on, you know, some older version, you installed it a few months ago and you want to update it, literally just hit that update button and it will get you up to date. We just installed it, so no need to run updates right now. But yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in here and go to Mail Setup. And it's going to have a handful of little settings here. So this is a good time to check out that article because we have all of these laid out for you. Um, so you're going to use the from address um, and the um, uh, username, password from um, Mailgun. These are actually going to be the same. Um, and then you can set a port and SMTP and all that kind of stuff and the host. Um, so um, I'm going to go back to where I kept track of some of this stuff. This is my login and from address. So I'm going to put this in here. Sorry, username and from address. Um, I'm going to get my password. I'm going to get my host, which was smtp.mailgun.org. And I'm going to get my port, which was just 25. But um, if I go back to this tab here, um, they were, you can, you can choose, you know, any Is there of any particular benefit or distinction to picking one of the other two? Or not? Not that I'm aware of. Um, there is, um, there there could be reasons on different server setups mm -hmm. why you may want to use a different port. Um, but on Reclaim Cloud, if you're following along with our instructions, it, it doesn't. There's no yeah. reason to use it, it, one over the other. So, um, 
Sounds good. And then we're going to put in SMTP and, whoops, uh, and SMTP again. And I'm going to hit apply. Um, it is going to basically input those settings into Ghost and then restart Ghost. Great. Um, so now I have basically the password, the transactional email, not newsletter email, but transactional email is now set up. Um, so I can go to mycoolnewsletter.com slash ghost and I could log out and, you know, um, set up my actual, like do a password Describe reset, things membership. like that. That's yeah. Awesome. We're going to, we're going to get there in a second. I don't want to do that just yet because I also want to set up my newsletter email while we're in here, basically. Um, so for setting up the newsletter email, um, once you sign back into Ghost, and um, in case you forgot, it's basically whatever um, domain name you have, slash ghost, that's the URL to log in. Um, you're gonna go down here at the bottom, let me zoom in to this settings icon. And over on the sidebar, we're gonna go all the way down to the email newsletter section and then mailgun settings and says, hey, the Mailgun API is used for bulk email newsletter delivery. Um, and if you click this, why is this required, by the way, this gets you to that article I was the talking same about post, before. Yeah. Yeah. Same post. Um, and so I can hit edit, and I'm gonna go in here and pick my Mailgun region, which for the domain I set up is US, and the, the Mailgun domain, again, so this is, the this domain up here is where it is. So mycoolnewsletter.com. And then finally, I'm going to get that API key I created. So let me copy that too. Oops. And I'm going to hit save. And it says, great, Mailgun is set up. So that's it. <laughs> that's all of the steps. Um, We're done. Yeah, um, that is absolutely um, all of the steps that we need to um, to set up for getting all of this stuff configured. Um, now, we are actually going to log into Ghost and and do things with it, you know, look at themes, look at how do I set up um, subscribers, how do I write posts, all of that kind of stuff we're going to do next time. Um, but uh, I really wanted to have a dedicated sort of technical setup um, video. So. I'm going to be honest, Pilot, this went smoother than I expected, and this went faster than I expected. Um, so we're going to we're gonna have this uh, recession in at just under 40 minutes, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and if but if you have any questions or or challenges with any of this, you know, definitely post in the discord because we can um, help you work through them. And hopefully other folks can learn from whatever questions you have, because there is a lot of moving parts here. Um, and of course, we demonstrated one way to do this in terms of hosting Ghost on Reclaim Cloud and using cPanel for your domain name. But if you're using a different DNS tool, maybe you've re registered your domain with like Namecheap or somebody, those you, settings you, are going to look a little bit different, right? Yeah. If, if for example, you registered my cool newsletter dot yacht, you did not do it through Reclaim. And so you're going to have to do that somewhere else. Yeah. I mean... Get, hop on that because yeah. <laughs> that sounds I, like a lucrative newsletter, by the way. <laughs> I, I do not think it would be cost effective just from domain registration costs alone. I oh, how much does it cost? <laughs> I don't remember. I remember looking up dot boat and there's no reason why dot boat and dot yacht would have the same pricing, but dot boat was like $10,000 a year. Oh my God. Well, now I need to find out. Um, Welcome to... Uh, oh, Namecheap oh, doesn't, like doesn't Namecheap doesn't like dot. Try yacht. dot boat. Try dot boat. Welcome to our Well, and, and not every registrar registrar supports all of these. It could just be that Namecheap doesn't do that particular huh. one. Um, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm I wouldn't be surprised though, like you said, a lot of the um most um weird fanciest ones are pretty expensive. So yeah. Yeah. Um but you know. Yacht enthusiasts, maybe you could charge for your newsletter. <laughs> um, I don't know. I assume yacht people have lots of money, right? So um, anyway, 
Um, <laughs> I, I hope this was helpful in getting kind of a good start to finish overview of how do I register a domain, map a domain, install Ghost, in, uh, set up Mailgun, do the DNS stuff with Mailgun. Um, and uh, we'll see everyone next time. See you next time. Bye.